What's up, kings and queens? Welcome back to my channel. I am the Eva Monroe. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel today. So today we're going to chat about my favorite subject ever, having to do with fragrances, and that is fragrance oils. I talk about them all the time. You guys know how much I love them. So today I'm going to share with you why I love them, what I do with them, and where you can actually get some if you are interested in trying some out, if you've never used them. So Back in about 2003, I started to dabble in fragrance oils. And there was a gentleman, he had a little store close to where I lived, and he actually would create different concoctions. And I remember him creating this one, and he named it Royalty. And I used to cover myself in it and just go out into the world. And I would always get so many compliments on it. And then when I got home at the end of the day, like I would still smell nearly exactly like I smelled when I left the house. So I started purchasing perfume or fragrances from like department stores, like designer fragrances and things like that. And the one thing that always really stood out was the fact that they never lasted as long as my fragrance oils. So I have just always had an undying love for fragrance oils. Now, Back in 2005, someone went to Iraq, and when they returned home from Iraq, they actually bought me a beautiful bottle of this oil. I've had this ever since, and at first, I was always scared to use it because it was so beautiful, and, and it was very strong and kind of a little bit off-putting, so I always kept it on my perfume display for decorations, and then not long ago, I put some on, and I was like, whoa, this is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. But um, so this is like one of the oils that I've actually probably had the longest. And it's like some type of musk or something, but it's so beautiful. It's so rich. And I'm telling you, it smells better than I ever remember it smelling before. So about two years ago, I was on Amazon one night and I saw this, I, I searched a fragrance and I saw an oil pop up from this company called FragrantBodyOils.com. And I was like, well, I haven't bought any oils in a while because I kind of stopped buying them so often. Like if I went to trade shows or like um, African art expos or something, then I would pick some up then. But I didn't buy them as much as I had been previously buying them. And not only that, like I fell into the niche hole. So I thought I was really doing something. So <laughs> I ordered some fragrances from them. And being that I've always had Back to Black, I was like, well, let me, I know what Back to Black smells like. So let me order something that I'm familiar with. So I actually ordered that the very first time I ordered Back to Black. And I ordered Intoxicated, I want to say intoxicated or straight to heaven one of those and I received the oils and I was blown away so I called up my cousin who's a frag head herself and I was like girl I found something you're not gonna but girl you gotta get some oils from these people so she ordered some and then she was hooked so I have talked about this company many times in my videos and in one of my videos I said they need to call me because I'm always plugging them. <laughs> well, they called me and they actually sent me over a few oils to try out. They really, they are. Now, let me first be clear because I know y'all be, they are not paying me. I, this is not a sponsorship. Most of these oils minus the ones, the three I'm going to show you, I have purchased with my own money. So I just really enjoy purchasing things from them. I love their customer service. They're on top of it. I have messaged them at like 11 o'clock at night. I was even typing quiet and then bloop, they would like respond. I'm like, oh, okay. So they sent me over three oils to try out just to show their appreciation for the fact that I am always mentioning them and just because I love their stuff so much. So they sent me Herod. They sent 540X Straight and Metalik. And they actually also sent me a bar of soap to go with the Metalik because they're doing soaps now. So 
I was so excited to receive these. I was like, oh my goodness. Now the soap, I'm really excited that they're making soaps, but I'm going to show you guys what I actually do to create my soap here in a minute. Now, if you know anything about me, you know, I go cuckoo for Herod. I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of a man wearing Herod. I just think, oh, this is so good. I was so excited to smell this. And yes, this absolutely smells like Herod absolutely smells like Herod. Oh, I love this. I love this. And then they sent, or actually, yeah, they sent me 540. Now, I forgot. They also sent me a bar of 540 soap. So this is 540 the X straight. Now, you guys know I'm not a 540 fan, right? But I really wanted to use the soap because before I talk about stuff, I have to use it and I have to see, is it really good? Like, is it going to dry my skin out? Is it going to give me bumps? I mean, what are we doing? So I did use the 540 soap. Now, after I used the soap, I really questioned if I needed to add this because my entire bathroom was lit up <laughs> with nothing but 540 soap. I even told them, like, I have a new air freshener in my bathroom now, and it's called 540, Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, so I did actually apply this over the top of it. I must say that if I were going to wear either of the two, the original 540 or the 540 X straight, I would definitely wear the 540 X straight. Um, I think it just goes a little more quiet, but this is very nice. It's that 540 thing. So... Now, you guys know I have to tell you about the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, I don't even know how many oils I've ordered from them over the course of two years. I'd have to count them up and lotions included. But every one that I have received has been like 98.99999% accurate and spot on with the fragrance that I was actually trying to layer or blend it with. Um... The only fragrance I have received from them, which was the one that they sent me, or in the group of the fragrances that they sent me, that was off was Metalik. And I was really sad about it because this was the one I was the most excited to be able to cover myself in and then add the Metalik fragrance and go out into the world. But, um... When I received this and smelled it, I did inform them that no, this is a this is a miss. This is not it's not close. It's missing the the metally thing that I love so much in Metalique. So from what I understand, they were gonna have this redone. I'm not sure if they have yet or not, but this is the only one that I've ever received that was a it was totally a miss for me. Um now so, like I told you, one of the first oils that I ordered from them was Back to Black. And I figured out this thing that I started really liking to do to be able to extend the longevity and to really boost the projection of my fragrances with fragrance oils. And that was like making my own shower gel and my own lotion. So, I buy this. And this is from, you can get this from Marshalls or TJ Maxx. And it's called Everyone Soap. It's one, Everyone for Everybody Soap. And this comes in 100% unscented. Like it has no smell whatsoever. So they have some that are scented. And this one I took out my husband's bathroom because I'm out and it looks like it's scented. But get the unscented one. And then I keep these because I buy these from Walgreens or Walmart I use these for traveling with my shampoo and all that type of stuff as well. But I make my shower gels and my lotions with these. So I just fill this up with the shower gel. And then I take whatever fragrance oil that I'm going to be making a shower gel to. And I add one to two to eight to ten drops of the oil into the shower gel. And I make my own shower gel like that. I do the same thing with my lotion as well. I'm I'm a Eucerin girl. This is every ashy woman's dream right here. Um, if you like a thick lotion, this is a thick lotion. If you don't, then this is not the lotion for you. But Fragheads also love this because it has no smell whatsoever. So I do the same thing. I will fill this up with my lotion. 
add a few drops of my fragrance oil, two to four to 12, and then cover myself in that and then apply my fragrance. I've told you guys in my layering and blending video that whenever I get these, I always make sure that they smell like the fragrance that I'm trying to layer or blend my fragrances with. So I also wear these on their own. Now, another some fragrances that I have purchased from them that I'm absolutely crazy about, um, Sunshine Woman. Oh my goodness. If you don't have that $360 to $400 to spend on Amouage Sunshine Woman, this is it. This smells like Sunshine Woman, 100%. And I layered this with Sunshine Woman and I'm here to tell you it was so good. So this is definitely one to try, especially if you've been, if you want to experience Sunshine Woman um, and this lasted longer. So I'm telling you, oils just last longer on your skin than fragrances do. So um, another favorite of mine. Now, this is my second bottle of this. When I ordered this, I actually ordered two bottles for whatever reason. And this is their Molecula One. Now, I love this. I own Molecula One, the original, eccentric Molecula One. And I prefer layering this with the fragrances that I like to lay over the top of Molecula One because this sticks around forever. So this is just their ISO E Super is, is what this is. And oh, this is so good. A lot of people don't like Molecule 01, but I, I really enjoy it. And like I said, I enjoy this more because this lasts longer and it still does that thing where it just boosts the projection of your fragrances like crazy. Um, Now, another favorite that I have re recently purchased from them I bought this with my own money, and it is Andy Warhol. Oh, I got the fragrance oil, and I got the lotion. Now, they actually, they make lotions as well, but I, I still, their lotions are really nice, but I still enjoy doing my little user and thing, but I wanted to really try out some more of their lotions. Um, I don't know about you guys, but this is the closest I will ever get to Andy Warhol because every time I see Andy he's like five seven hundred dollars and even though I consider myself to be a collector I'm not spending that kind of money on a bottle with a man's face on it just because they don't make it anymore so this is gorgeous this is plum oud. it's like a woody thing I'm here for this I, I really like this so their version of Andy Warhol is actually very nice um, I have Clementine, California, which is really nice. This is Atelier. Oh, this is like, oh, it's orange. It's citrus. It's, it's so good. So those are some things that I do with my fragrance oils. And I wear them on their own as well. I just will take them. I don't know if I mentioned this or not. I will, I pop this out because I'm extra. So I can dab it in my hand and rub it where I need it to go. Rubbing is the exception to the rule when it comes to oils. You have to rub them in a little bit because you don't want a big greasy spot on your skin. But I absolutely feel like they are just the best way to extend the longevity of your fragrance. And I love them. I mean, so if you are interested in purchasing some fragrance oils, I will actually link their information in the description box below. Give some of these a try. Um, another place that I absolutely love ordering oils and things from is Swiss Arabian. I have their secret musk, private musk. I have black magic. Listen, secret is a gorgeous rose. This is, oh, this is so gorgeous. I, I love this. And I like layering this with Lyric Man as well. So those are some things that I actually do with fragrance oils because you guys always hear me going on and on and on about them. Those are some of my favorite oils. I don't know if I mentioned their um, by Killian Intoxicated is absolutely gorgeous. Straight to heaven. So good. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching me today. And until I see you again, be blessed and bye for now.